50 years after the Apollo 11 mission, moon landing hoaxes and conspiracy theories still live on. While scientists and researchers continue to explain and defend the lunar landing's authenticity, some people are still convinced it never happened. 15 seconds, guidance internal, 13, 12. I have heard of the one where we did not actually go to the moon, where it was all filmed and it didn't happen. I have heard that it was filmed in a warehouse in California. The one I heard was uh, Stanley Kubrick. He, uh, when he was shooting 2001, I guess, he filmed the moon landing. Most commonly, when suggesting the moon landing was filmed on a movie set, people point to the moment Buzz Aldrin steps off the lander into a dark shadow, but stays fully lit. If the sun is the only light source, how is this possible? So the, the sun is shining on everything all around, and the lunar soil is very, very reflective. I mean, if you go outside and look at the moon, you see how much sunlight is being reflected off of that. That light gets scattered all over the place, and so it, it does light up things in the shadow a little bit. We have looked up. Scott Young oversees the science gallery at the Manitoba Museum. He has heard and explained away moon myths for decades. So I hit him with a few more hoax theories from the street. So I heard that they faked the whole thing and you can tell because the flag sort of flutters in the wind and so there's no wind on the moon. The flag, if it was just in a vacuum, would just fall down flat and just lie there. That's not a very good picture op. So they had a stick along the top of the flag to hold it up. The only time it moves is when they're trying to screw it into the base. The eagle has landed. Because of the, the moon being millions of years old, the dust on the moon should have been six to 10 feet deep, right? But when they landed, how deep was it? Just like that. So there's no way that the moon could have been that old. Therefore, they were probably not on the moon. Well, before we went to the moon, we weren't sure how much dust would be there, for sure. Most dust on the Earth comes from people. There's no people on the moon. So the dust is only what's left from impacts. And that's just a sort of a thin layer across the surface. Scott and I talked more moon myths off camera. He told me I could pass along to all of you watching that if anyone isn't satisfied and wants to talk more about if we did or didn't land on the moon, come to the Manitoba Museum and Scott will explain it all. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.